All right, a special edition of Krantz's Corner as we're celebrating Zach Thomas's enshrinement into the NFL Hall of Fame. And I linked up with one of his former teammates. You guys know him. You see him in the video right now. Former Dolphin, top pick in the draft, Super Bowl champ, you name it, floor state guy, the whole deal. Terrell <laughs> Buckley. I say that under my breath a little, right? Terrell Buckley joining us here, but head coach of the Orlando Guardians also in the XFL and doing work, as you can see in the background. T-Buck, I appreciate the time. What's going on with the Orlando Guardians? Oh, man, thank you for having me. What, what we're doing is we're finishing up. Uh, we just had a combine last week, so we're trying to build this roster correctly and, and turn things around. Last year was not the year that we expected, so we're working hard trying to get that squared away. Well, that's the best part, the beauty of the offseason, to correct mistakes, get the personnel you need, and put Lamar Thomas to work. Those are your three things you got to do <laughs> here in the offseason here. Me and T-Buck, before we start, I'll give this to all the people watching and listening right now. We like to rip on Lamar Thomas a little bit, because you know Lamar is one of my guys here in Krantz's Corner. It's my first time having T-Buck here on Krantz's Corner. Hopefully not the last time here in Krantz's Corner as well. And, uh, yeah, we just like to take a little shots to LT. So that'll happen here and there during the whole thing. All right. So I, I basically texted you, T-Buck, because this is a big weekend for Dolphin fans, yes. a big weekend for someone you know very well. Zach Thomas finally got the call. Uh, we saw the videos. You know, Zach's a crier. He was crying right away when he got that call, crying. Right. I love it because I'm a huge Zach Thomas fan. I covered him when he was on this team down here for the Dolphins. When you first heard Zach finally got that call, what was your first thoughts that came to mind at that point? Wow. Wow. Excited. And, and also saying it's about time, you know, you look at, look at how they're doing this hall of fame. You really don't know the criteria, but you take somebody like Zach, the top defense, the leader, all the stuff he's done. And when they was taking other guys, it was like, Whoa, why is he not? So seeing him get that call, seeing him crying, all that, seeing his highlights brought back memories for myself too, uh, being out there with him. Pure excitement, exhilaration, uh, just whatever you name it, that that you're happy for somebody and you know he deserves it. What was your first impression of Zach when he got into camp? I mean, this was a guy that was, the, he was the 19th linebacker drafted that year in his class. I think the first one was Ray Lewis, so that was a pretty good one right there, Hall yeah. of Famer Ray Lewis. There was 18 guys or 17 guys picked in between Ray Lewis and Zach Thomas. That's an interesting one right there uh, for the NFL draft heads out there. But what was your first impression when Zach first got on the field uh, for the Dolphins during training camp? Well, let me back it up. The reason he was that late, it was it really had nothing to do with him playing. But he's 5'11". Right. You know, nickname, I gave him nickname, Lil Buddy. You know, I don't right. remember the jeans, the commercial used to be. <laughs> uh, but it was like, oh, here's this little thick, short guy when you first see him walk out there and then you see him run around and then you, you go look at the tape, the highlight tape from, from college and you see what he does. Sideline to sideline, filling gaps, had pretty, had freaking great hands. And obviously the, the passion and, and the knowledge, the football IQ he brought to the, to the table was second to none. That's why, bam, he's a hall of famer. Right. And, and, you know, it's funny, too, because I talked to Mike Westoff about Zach also. And the first thing Mike said was when he went and scouted kind of Texas Tech and he found Zach Thomas out there, yeah. he was kind of the only one out there scouting Zach or, or looking at Zach but more for special team stuff. And he came back and I said, so what what gave Zach away? He goes, Zach was a football player. And he goes, you could see a football player when you find a football player and you see a football player, you know, a football player. And that's what Zach was. And I thought that was an interesting one because Zach did a lot to get to where he was. He was one of these guys, and you probably know this too, the, the stories of this guy in game film and film study and, and, and getting ready for games, the preparation, it was like legendary. Did you see that around Zach the first couple of years, his preparation? Yeah, you don't, you don't just change that overnight. That's who he is. That's who he was as a player. Preparation understand the game that's where that football iq comes in and i do not label guys uh with the fbi often because it's, it's something that you just don't stumble upon zach proved it not only with the film study but taking care of his body also you know we spend a lot of time in, in the steam room and after practice and massages and cow all the stuff that 
that has become popular now, uh, Zach was doing that before. So that's that's nothing new. This is kind of what, when you say it's about time, that's expected because of the work he put in before that. I thought it was interesting too, when I was looking through Zach's kind of stats and looking through numbers for Zach, because this is a guy every year you knew he was going to have 100 plus tackles. He was just going to mm -hmm. be one of those guys. This guy had four interceptions for touchdowns. Yes. One of the, I think he's tied for the Dolphins all time lead with, yes. with, with Rashad Jones. T Buck from a guy who, who made a career out of intercepting guy. This is unbelievable that Zach's that. Well, it's pretty nice. Now, I would say this uh, when you are a linebacker and you, and you are smart, you anticipate like Zach would do. You get there. I remember he had a pick against Oakland. Uh, quarterback scrambling the back tried to leak out and he tried to squeeze it in and they right on the goal line. He catches it. Bam. That's where you have to have good hands. Zach had, when you combine great hands with football IQ, you get that. I mean, we expected Zach to make plays like that and score right. a touchdown. Yeah, I mean, it's just unbelievable watching some of his games. For for no for anyone who didn't see him live during those days and watch those defenses and see how Zach uh, just made everything look easy because he kind of knew everything. You read stories of, from Peyton Manning and Tom Brady, how that was the hardest guy they had to prepare for because Zach would sit at the line of scrimmage or stand at the line of scrimmage when everyone's lined up and call out the plays before they were there. He just knew the schemes. He knew the way the, people, the, the, the team was set up. I find that amazing that a guy puts that much effort into it because you hear stories about guys who are not big film guys or not being prep guys. Zach's mm -hmm. the complete opposite of that. And now as a coach, and you see that, that's just an amazing thing to have on your team. Almost another coach out there, but a really good player. Absolutely. And you can make adjustments like that. You can you you can tell Zach, line up on the edge, show, show this look, show the bear look, but you know you got the curl backside. So now you, the quarterback coming up and he's looking like, oh man, they about to blitz. Bam, he drops. They try to throw the curl backside. He picks it off. Next time, show the same look. Run a game with the with the nose guard. Come inside, loop around, and blitz through the a gap. Now nobody knows what you're doing but you, right. and that's what you want. That's what you like about Zach. But again, that was bred and bred in him. That's from the beginning, and he just brought that to the NFL. And that's another thing about the draft and evaluating talent, evaluating talent. And I have to give Jimmy and Colton a lot of credit for drafting somebody that late and showing, and them showing you that they deserve to be out there. And they actually let them turn them loose. You have to appreciate all that too. Yeah. hundred percent. I mean, somebody saw it, whether it was Jimmy or Mike, or whatever it was, they saw the, the guy, the dog in him, and then all of a sudden Zach proved it and a chip on your shoulder. He or he had a chip on his shoulder from day one walking in there because he was a late draft pick and they didn't think he would make it or make it through camp at least at yes. that point. And then you look all these years later, now going into the Hall of Fame. How was Zach as a teammate? Uh, you know, obviously awesome. it was he I, I figured this has got to be one of the better teammates you ever had. Uh man, you know what? Uh you know, I, I consider a great teammate somebody that uh is not only hold yourself accountable, hold everybody that's accountable, uh, but off the field, you, you you actually talk about things besides football. And you actually feel comfortable around you hang out. It's, it's not right. a show. That's what I like. And, and knowing Zach's background uh, with his father and all the history and trust funds and all that, the, one of the coolest, best teammates I ever had because of everything that surrounded him. Uh, and where he came from and his attitude, uh, we got along great. I, I really enjoyed my time with him. Yeah, I can imagine. Zach's a great guy. I love, I mean, off the field, he's been so great to all, you know, even the media guys over the years, been perfect with them. Zach's the kind of guy, by the way, in the locker room, once a week, who would sit in his locker and the media would jump out, you know, oh, Zach's going to talk. We got to run over to Zach. And he would talk for 45 minutes. Most guys... Mm -hmm. Those guys, five, 10 minutes, I'm out of here. Let me get my media stuff out, you know, out of the way. He'd go into conversations and talk about things. And God forbid you asked him a question about a specific play in the game. Mm -hmm. He would detail everything, tell you where the tight ends were lined up, the quarterback's eyes beforehand. He saw the left guard move his knuckle so he knew yep. he go this way. T Buck, I think that it's fascinating for someone who never played at that level, never played at any level like that. It's fascinating hearing stories like that. 
Yeah, you appreciate that. Yeah. And, and and if your game, if you feel like you're that type of player that you want to study, and all of a sudden you, you're putting in eight hours, and then you see Zach or that putting in 10, you're like, well, shoot, I'm slacking. I need to put 10. So right. raising everybody game, raising late, raising their level of play, studying everything up is what Zach was about. And that that's something that I think is missed. By him doing all that, it raised everybody else's game up. Right. And, and listen, how hard is it for – and this is, this is me asking you this question as a head coach mm-hmm. now. How hard is it being a head coach knowing all the – if a guy doesn't put in the time and effort like you did before, like you like how, – how tough is that for a guy? Because I can imagine that's why Zach probably can't be a coach because of all the stuff he did. And if a guy doesn't put in half the effort or all the effort he did, he probably couldn't even handle it. How do you handle that? Do you find a lot of guys that are kind of T-buck guys? Yeah, it, it's very tough now. It, it's tough. And I think uh, as, as the longer you coach, you take yourself, you have to remove, you set standards. Right. It's like we had a team meeting, our first team meeting last night, and I put up the guardian way, right? That's how we're going to operate. This is the guardian way. Whatever we agree upon, this is the only way we're going to do it. If you're not going to do it that way, then we have to make changes. So you, as a, for me, as a former player that, it's going to do everything it takes. It's going to put in all the miles. All you can do is set the standard, be honest with them, let them know. If they don't do it, then you have to move on. Uh, and and Zach, would, I think he would make the adjustment because that's, that's the type of person uh, he is and the type of player he was, that it will be very tough at first, but he'll come around because he'll make those adjustments. One, one thing, and I'll let you go after this, because I know you got to get back to everything. I was talking to Terrell Buckley, who's sitting here, Orlando Guardians head coach. He's been on Zoom call. I'm, I'm like in the middle of all his Zoom calls right now. He's getting ready <laughs> through this combine stuff. Uh, one thing for Zach that I, I just kind of noticed over the years with him, he never wanted to do media stuff because he spoke his mind. And he knew that that would get him in trouble a lot, because if someone asked him a question about something, he would be blatant about it. He would say, well, this is what happened or this is what the problem was. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was funny over the years because I would talk to him off the air, see him at an event. He would say something. I'd ask him a question, this and that. Like, hey, come on, you know, the show next week. No, 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 I can't do that. I'm going to get in trouble because I'm going to say something that nobody, you know, I'm going to speak the truth. And I think that was Zach. That, That was Zach always as much as I knew him. And I wasn't his teammate. The guy always spoke the truth, always said what's on his mind. Uh, absolutely, and, that, and that's why I, I appreciate him, love, because, you know, I'm similar to that, uh, and I understand what he says about you want to be honest and upfront. Right. You don't want to just give the standard answer, but as soon as you uh, are honest, everybody jumps on you and say that you have no no filter, you, you, you don't have any feelings and right. all that. So, again, that goes back to what I was saying earlier of if he got into the coaching bin, he would make that adjustment. Just like making that adjustment from college to the pros, being considered the NFL on the size linebacker and turning out to be one of the all-time greats. Uh, you have to love that story and appreciate a young man, call him a young man, a guy like Zach right. uh, uh, that's made that happen. So I'm, I'm forever indebted to uh, and grateful for playing with him. Uh, and I saw the greatness before that coast. In the background, you see, I got all these, I got jerseys. I got jerseys at two places, right? So I have right. I have a Zach Thomas jersey on my wall. I've been there for over a decade. So uh, I appreciate and saw that when I was playing with it. You're going to have to open that up so you can re-sign that with Hall of Fame class of 2023, right? That's, I know, I know. <laughs> you got to pop know. open the, uh, the shadow box one more time so I you know. can get in there. Uh, I, I just I just got Leroy Butler, so, you know, you know, his teammates at, at right. college and the so yeah, I have a few. I'm waiting on uh waiting on a couple more, but I also have Jace JT's uh on the wall. So I have I have some guys now. T Buck so I'm you played, excited. You played on a hell of a defense down here in Miami and some great teams overall. 14 years in the NFL, Super Bowl champion, Miami Dolphin right here. Terrell Buckley, more importantly right now, head coach of the Orlando Guardians as they get prepared for this next season. T-Buck putting in the work. T-Buck, I can't thank you enough. I appreciate your time today. I only wanted to talk a little bit about Zach and your team. You did exactly that. I really appreciate it. 
Hey, thank you for having me on anytime. Uh, anytime you need me, you want to talk, I'm available. I love it. That's, don't tell someone like that to me that because you know I'll bug you once a week at that <laughs> point. Terrell Buckley joining us here in a special edition talking about Zach Thomas of Crancis Corner. Thank you. T-Buck. Thank you.